everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, JK Tutoring. In this video, we're going to be having a look at the term recession and what it means for the public and small and large businesses. So the UK is officially in recession for the first time in 11 years. The UK economy has suffered, it, suffered its biggest slump on record between April and June as the coronavirus lockdown measures push, pushes the country officially into a recession. This is a period of temporary economic decline during which trade and industrial activity are reduced, generally identified by a fall in GDP and unemployment. So what does this mean for consumers and small businesses? So firstly, unemployment levels are rising, low consumer confidence. So the general public do not have the confidence to go out there and buy their goods as they would usually do pre-COVID. And lastly, less disposable income for consumers. Consumers don't have the disposable income, the cash in hand, to go out and buy the luxurious items as they would have before. So what is the government doing about the recession? So as we already know, the number of people in work fell by 220,000 between April and June. Now there would be support for people creating jobs in new areas and developments, ensuring that those who are without a job will be able to find one quickly. The government is trying to encourage spending of consumers, ensuring that businesses are not low on revenue and they're able to cover their debt. And interest rates usually fall in early recession and then they begin to rise which means that credit requirements are often strict and it is difficult to borrow. So here are some top tips on how to protect yourself against a recession. Most people don't even know that we're in a recession until it's too late. So the first thing to do is to focus and not panic. And that you should be prepared for any market downturn. Now is the time for investors to not only to look at their to do list, but to make sure that they have a to don't list. You need to be able to take stock of your personal life. It is a smart idea to take the temperature of your personal life. So how do you feel about your job? Do you feel safe? What is the risk in your life right now? And did you just have a child? And if you don't feel your job is secure, then make sure your resume or your CV is up to date. So when you do come to apply for a job, you're ready. It is also useful to make a financial plan. So look at your financial situation in the context of your goals and be able to see how you are tracking these goals, how you are doing in achieving those goals and learn what it takes to get there. However, try not to worry too much, especially if you're not near the retirement age. You want to also make sure you have the cash you need so you don't have to sell things at the worst possible time, for example, your stocks and shares. Therefore, try to increase the amount of money you are saving each month if you can. Lastly, don't run up your credit cards. So think about your spending versus your earnings. Are there ways you can cut back just in case you need to? Are there things that have gotten out of control because you have been doing well financially? So now is a really good time to check all of that and make sure, make sure you are in the right place. Lastly, it is not the end of the world. So a recession doesn't necessarily mean we are looking at gloom and doom. So thank you all for watching. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up icon below, leave a comment, subscribe and share this video with your family and friends.